Hello everyone, my name is Chang Won Che from the Associate Design Team 1 at Post Semiconductor and it's great to be here with you today. Today, I would like to introduce our Associate Design Team 1 and share a bit about what we do. Our team plays a leading role in managing a social project closely collaborating with various teams through each project page. So first, I'll briefly explain how we collaborate with the other teams during projects and then I'll move on to describe our team's key responsibility. When a project begins, we receive the high-level requirement specification from the architecture and safety team. Based on this, we set up the environment and acquire the accessory IPs either from third-party IP provider or developed internally by Associate Design Team 2. Once IPs are ready, we proceed to associate design. During this phase, we integrate PPK optimized custom SRMs provided by our library team to ensure compactiveness. When associate design is complete, we put it onto an FPGA or emulator and deliver it to the system software team for initial software development and verification. Next, our TFT part incorporate testability features into the design early on. This critical step ensures that potential defect in manufactured chips. Specifically, we verify the design suitable for DFT implementation and add test structures to the functional RTL design. The resulting RTL design with the integrated test structure is called DFT RTL. After generating the DFT RTL, we slowly verify its quality through regression tests with IT DevOps team, while our design verification team confirms correct functionality. We then collaborate closely with the physical design and implementation team and external design service provider for stages and place and route process. After table fabrication takes place at the foundry, followed by packaging and testing conducted by OSAT. Finally, after receiving fabricated chips, we support silicon validation together with the application team and system software team, providing user manual and assisting with troubleshooting as needed. Our environment setup consists of two main areas, design methodology and configuration management. Design methodology is a systematic approach to converting specifications into a working silicon chip. It involves multiple stages, tools, and verification steps to optimize performance, power, and area while meeting functional and timing requirements. As a feminist company, we focus on delivering high-quality RTL design. The RTL handoff flow typically includes these steps, RTL coding and debugging, RTL simulation, Lint, CDC, RDC, formal verification, power estimation and optimization, logic synthesis, and STA. Configuration management involves system ethically managing and tracking all configurations and the environment related to the project. In particular, effective version control based on repository configuration and branch strategy is essential. Typically, a project consists of approximately 80 to 100 repositories. Therefore, version control must be carefully managed by considering both the design maturity level and collaboration requirements. During IP design, our team focuses on IP onboarding. IP onboarding is the process of preparing and verifying IP blocks for integration into the SOC. As a part of this process, we perform SRAM exploration and optimization for both third-party and in-house IPs and update port naming according to our internal naming convention. Additionally, we prepare the necessary design constraint and metadata and evaluate accessibility aspects such as skin coverage. Finally, we conduct a comprehensive performance, power, and area analysis to ensure optimal integration into the SOC design. SOC design begins with design partitioning. Design partitioning involves dividing the SOC into multiple blocks, considering each IP's functionality and the overall flow plan. Next, we design the system IP, which includes components such as clock and reset management unit, pad and GPIO controller, and interconnect. Let me briefly explain the workflow of our interconnect design. After receiving the architecture and IP specifications, we design the interconnect that connect this component. To satisfy bandwidth, we model various traffic scenarios, perform performance evaluation, and continuously improve our design based on the result. 
Afterward, we collaborate with other teams to complete the verification and physical design. Once all system IP are ready, we proceed to block level and top level integration. After integration, we prepare design constraint, UPF, and metadata. Finally, a perform sense check to ensure overall design correctness. The primary goal of DFT is to minimize testing cost while ensuring high product quality during mass production. Additionally, we implement in-system test structure that accompany the product throughout its entire life cycle. To achieve this goal, we analyze the testability of the latest SOC, internal IPs, and major functional blocks. We also leverage state of the art structure DFT techniques, such as logic built in self test and in system repair. Our mission in the DFT team is to specialize and optimize each step using the DFT workflow from analyzing SOC requirements and the internal structure through mass production testing to rapidly incorporating lessons learned from silicon validation back into our design. The illustrations highlight key technical items we emphasize at each phase. Thank you very much for your attention today.